Hello everyone and welcome to our second Skillscast episode. Today we're going to talk about the assignments you have to prepare for the Skills course. As we said before, during the two periods covered by this course, you will have to hand in three written assignments and attend the oral pleadings. We already got a question on our tag form on that. The vlog mentioned that three assignments have to be handed in. However, the course book only speaks of two. I was wondering whether this could be cleared up. Of course it can. The motive for which the course book only mentions two assignments is by, because the course book only refers to the first block period of this course, namely period four. As you might know already, the course lasts for two block periods. The third assignment will be the mood court memorandum, but we will just think of that later on in period four. Let's now focus on the first two assignments you already saw in your course book. Assi assignment one is individual and assignment two will require some group work. Let's talk about that now. These assignments have two goals. First, they break down the research process so that you better understand what you have to do. Second, they have a practical side, reflected in the actual drafting of a contract and the translation of a legal text. These two goals will also be addressed in your first tutorial. The beauty of these tasks is that they are actually much closer to you and your daily life than you might think. Are you, for instance, considering leaving the room in which you're living at the moment because your housemates are annoying and horribly messy? Well, maybe, for the next place you rent, you could actually draft a couple of contractual terms before you sign the contract. As for the translation, check this email we got from last year's students. You may wonder why I text you during our well-deserved summer break, but I really needed to tell you that, even though I never expected that this may ever happen to me. During the internship I am doing over the summer, I now got assigned to translate various pages of legal correspondence between the intellectual property firm that I work for and an opponent law firm, which is based in France, into English. In other words, I finally get to use our legal translation skills that we acquire during our skills course. I don't know if it does, but I thought this may make you smile. Well, here it is. But how are these assignments going to be graded? Well, in the past we've tried various ambitious methods of calculating the final grades, but this year we're going back to basics. Every assignment will be scored on a 0 to 10 basis and your final result for the course will be the average of what you get from the assignments. We know that you need feedback to advance your skills, so we will turn this into one of our guiding principles. If you know that you can do so much better on one assignment than your initial grade reflects, we will be generating more assignments for you so that you can replace the initial grade. This is what we call mastery learning. Just like in a game, where you don't manage to level up, you try again. For assignment one, the individual one, this is pretty straightforward. Whereas for assignment two, this will entail a bit of coordination on our side. However, let's just talk about that during tutorial two. That's all for now. Any questions? You know where to direct them, the type form. Let us know what your questions are and we will incorporate them in the Skillscast or in the FAQ blogs. Hope this helps.